Hello, mate. Hey, look who it is, though. How you doing, How you son? Doing, son? Nice to see nice you. Nice to you see you. Look lovely. <laughs> What's going on people? It's myself David from Pineapple and Kale and today we're doing dinner at Jazzy's. This is Jazzy. What up? AKA Young Spinach for tonight. <laughs> I like Young Spinach. It's Friday night. We both got things to do so <laughs> we're gonna do something nice and simple. A nice Friday night classic. Fajitas with some black beans and some homemade guacamole. Jazz is a non-vegan by the way so this is us hoping that he can he can join us. Yeah, man, no, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be interesting. Looking forward to cooking up some good food. Oh uh, yeah, bueno. Arriba. <laughs> Got one red pepper. Oh! One orange pepper. Chili. These beautiful, beautiful mushrooms. Look at those. What whoppers. Cool, so I'm just gonna get chopping with that. What I'm gonna be doing is making a guacamole, fresh homemade. So I've got two avocados over here, so bam. Also got a red onion as well. Got a tomato, a lime. We've also got green chili here. And I believe we have some coriander as well. Is this coriander? Yeah, it's coriander. It is coriander. Woo! There's literally a pepper inside of my pepper. Look at that. Raw. That's what we call the cycle of life, people. <laughs> Just need Rafiki in here to bless it. <laughs> Me and Jazz literally go back to 11, 12 in ridiculous oversized tracksuits. I actually had some laces on my tracksuit at one point. <laughs> this flag was mad and I had a and shoe some, like, hat. And, and he had a boot down. with that. What's that material? Um, they're using like S&M and shit. Like that PVC. I'll tap my pups though, he took me down to Blackbush Market. He got to come tracksuit. My dad took me to get my first academic tracksuit done with green. So <laughs> shout out dad and shout out boss man down. <laughs> what was that, what was that um, the story in with green called? I had the lick NYC. NYC, yeah. that's where I got my first tracksuit. Jeez. They shut down now, but yeah. all the real man know from back in the day. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm just gutting out this tomato right now and then I'm going to get to uh, dicing it. Do you remember when I cooked Mexican for the family down at, um, where is it, oh, Centre Park? Oh, oh my, my days. Hey, do you know what, yeah? Hey, this meal was inspired by Centre Park, yeah? <laughs> hey, listen, I was like, what, 14? Uh, do you remember going to the swimming pool to try and move to girls? And we just, <laughs> we wouldn't even move to them, we just stare at them, and like, <laughs> <laughs> on some creepy yeah, life thing, yeah? No techers. And see. Nice and dice. Nice and dice, inspect the gadget and all that shit. So now uh, what I'm gonna do is apparently need a quarter of an onion. You wanna get this thinly diced as possible. Real soldiers don't cry when they're slicing onions. Check the eyes though. I'm gonna cut about a quarter of a chili and add this into the mix. Coriander. If I jumped out the shower smelling like this, I wouldn't actually mind too tough still. I don't know, I think you're gone, man. <laughs> Jazz is just mashing the avocado on a long one. Boom, boom. It's skin. It's not even boom, boom, bro. Look like, at all these finger marks. Take the camera, bro. So this is how you properly cut an <laughs> avocado, yeah? You take the knife. You cut all the way through to the seed. You okay. go all the way around. Okay, that's what I've done. No, no, but you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, but I did. Are you ready? Are you ready, though? But yes. then I skinned it. Okay, David's going to twist it. Boom. All right, yeah. What are you gonna do? You're gonna push it out basically of the skin. Uh -huh. All right, cool. And uh, you're just hiding the fingerprints still. Part of fingerprints. Definitely, definitely a couple of fingerprints. I still. think that your bit of skin's in there as well. No. <laughs> after, after all the malarkey, I'm skinning a mango in uh, a man. <laughs> <laughs> avocado in it. I'm gonna start literally just mashing into them with a fork. Let me just transfer it into a bigger bowl. The avocados are so slippery, they slide out when you push against them on a small bowl. So that's why I mm -hmm. kind of put them into a bigger bowl. Mm. I was using my head there still. Mm -hmm. Makes a change. I've just put a little black pepper in there. I'm gonna add some, I'm pretty sure this is, it begins with a P in it, it's like. It's just Himalayan pink rock salt. We don't want to use too much salt. I am gonna, put some lime juice in it to keep it fresh. One other tip as well, yeah? If you're gonna squeeze out your lime juice and you ain't got a lime or lemon squeezer, squeeze it upside down so then obviously you can literally squeeze out the pips and then the juice will just run out. Look at that, come on. 
chicken. So I've got one red onion as well. I'm just chopping up some garlic now as well. Yeah. I'm only gonna put one and a half. Other than that, I'm just gonna chop up this chili. Jeez. <sighs> and then we're just about good to go. No. I always fry the onion for a couple of minutes before I add stuff, just because it lets the onion simmer down it and it allows the flavour to sort of go through the oil. Then we add the rest of the stuff. When it's cooked down, I'm gonna add the black beans. Don't wanna to do too much, because if you add too much beans, do you know what happens, Charles? <laughs> I like my tortillas to taste a bit fresh, so I've got some fresh watercress as well to put on it. Gives it a bit of life. Mm -hmm. Some enzymes in there. Let me wrap it up. Mm. Hey, that's stank, you know. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. Mmm. No, you're getting a lot in there still. So, you know what, yeah? My one concern, yeah, was feeling like I would feel like there was something missing. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But there's nothing missing, G. The guacamole gives it that cool taste. And the veg is seasoned correct, man. That's a wrap, baby. That's a wrap, baby. I'm getting so messy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it gets political, bro. It's peaking the dunya. <laughs> So crazy in the dunya. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be releasing regular videos. So hit that button. Thanks to my broski Jazz for joining me on this one. Come on, bro. It's you been know. a pleasure as always. We're about to go and do our business somewhere else. Pause. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey. Make sure you try out these fajitas because they taste dank. Dank. Peace. Oh shit then. <laughs> <laughs>